Hi LEGO fans! We've reached day 23 of Advent and the 3997th day of 2020. Santa's had his Covid shot and we have four new portals of Advent Calendar Joy to explore. Every day until Christmas Eve, I'll be opening up every door on every LEGO Advent Calendar, including LEGO Friends, LEGO City, LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Harry Potter! Yesterday saw a marked improvement to the quality of gifts following some disappointing days. LEGO Friends was the dark sheep of the family, earning just one point for this trailer that connected with the previous day's sled. In third was LEGO City, also completing a multi-part gift. Just like an episode of Bullseye from 1983, they gave us a speedboat and took away a prize of two points. This left us with an epic deathmatch between two minifigures. Stormtroopers do badly in duels, and unsurprisingly this one missed. That left LEGO Star Wars licking their wounds in second place with three points. Gift of the day was insufferable know-it-all and girl who always knows when it's time for bed, Hermione Granger. An adorable minifigure and a worthy winner, adding four points to the tally for LEGO Harry Potter. After opening 88 doors and developing an impressive callus on my advent calendar door stabbing finger, LEGO Friends remains hopelessly lost in last place with 45 points. LEGO City has a three point advantage and looks set to earn a bronze medal in third with 48 points. After missing the target yesterday, LEGO Star Wars is in second place with 63 points. And teetering perilously at the pinnacle of advent calendar greatness is LEGO Harry Potter with 64 points. Imperial troops are entering the quadrant to quell the rebellious wizards. More alarmingly, the Death Star has been sighted in the sky above Hogwarts. Will this be the day when Harry Potter takes a tumble? Let's open up some doors! So we've reached the 23rd day of the LEGO Advent Calendar door opening spectacular, and we're starting out today with LEGO City. So let's see what magic we get behind door number 23. And oh, actually that is quite festive. And that's probably the first festive thing we've ha had out of this calendar. And um, we have what looks like some kind of micro scale Rudolph the Reindeer and a sleigh. So our first catch of the day is a tiny sleigh, complete with Rudolph from LEGO City. Perhaps we won't need Trudy the Red-Nosed Tonton after all. Guiding Santa's sleigh is a tiny little Rudolph who seems to be feeling a lot better. Rudolph's crowning glory is this pearl gold elaborate ninja horn element. It's the kind of thing you'd usually see in a Ninjago set. He does of course also have a novelty oversized red nose, and I'm genuinely impressed with what LEGO City managed to achieve with just six elements. Santa is conspicuously missing from the sleigh, but this is a very cute little build. The runners are actually made out of ice skates, which can be attached to the bottom of minifigure feet. The end result is very effective. With a tiny little build like this, we don't have room in the back for actual gifts, but we do have two colourful 1x1 tiles to create the effect. Some of LEGO City's smaller scale builds this year have been pretty poor. This one, on the other hand, is adorable. The fact that they were able to make a recognisable reindeer from six elements is commendable. But will it be enough to win Calendar of the Day? We'll find out in a few minutes. Next we have the penultimate door on LEGO Harry Potter. So here we are, door number 23. I can't believe it's nearly all over. And what have we got here? Oh well, okay so we're getting some gifts and we seem to get those every year and they're usually not very good. But then that's interesting, we actually have um, either some kind of tower or Actually, it looks like some kind of musical instrument, maybe. Um, we certainly have a lot of coloured bricks in there, so uh, we'll put those together and take a look. So from LEGO Harry Potter, we have my favourite of all the advent calendar filler, a big pile of gifts. In fact, we have four festive gifts representing each of the Hogwarts houses. Yellow and black for Hufflepuff, Blue and grey for the best of all the houses, Ravenclaw. A tiny little box containing dog poop for Slytherin. And what appears to be a clarinet for Gryffindor. Most of the gift tags are made up of one by one clip elements. But the oddly shaped package has a different tag. The printed one by two letter with a wax seal is actually a relatively rare part. We also get this in Bobaton's carriage arrival at Hogwarts, Pirates of Barracuda Bay, and last year's so far superior Harry Potter advent calendar. 
Now taking another look at this gift, it is the perfect shape for a clarinet. But is this part of the musical theme for the Yule Ball, or is it the gift that Harry received from Professor McGonagall? That would of course make it the Nimbus 2000. This set of gifts from LEGO Harry Potter is definitely a step up from the usual tat we get. But if I were a wizard with a one point lead over LEGO Star Wars, I probably wouldn't go with a bunch of gifts on day 23 of Advent. Could this be a pivotal moment in this year's LEGO Advent Calendar door opening spectacular? We'll find out in two shakes of a blast ended Scrooge's tail. So the penultimate calendar on the penultimate day is LEGO Friends, and we are looking for door number 23, uh, which is just here. Let's see what we've got today. And uh, we have, oh no, oh, we always get a Christmas tree. Um, although I am quite a connoisseur of LEGO Christmas trees, and we will certainly see if this is one of the better advent calendar Christmas trees we ever see. <laughs> Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, oh why, oh why, a oh, Christmas tree. Well, it had to happen. Just like Norway gifts a tree to the United Kingdom every year, we get a Christmas tree from LEGO Friends. Like almost every Christmas tree to come out of a calendar, this one is topped off with a star. Other decorations include gold studs and some pastel pink and blue, which is about the only indication this is coming from LEGO Friends. The tree is made out of two different shapes of green, and we have 45 degree slopes for the branches. There's some brown at the bottom for the tree trunk, but ultimately, this is just a nicely made Christmas tree. Is it a worthy winner for day 23 gift of the day? We'll find out in a couple of minutes. Finally for today, we have LEGO Star Wars and door number 23. Now by a process of elimination, I'm pretty sure I already know what's in here. And yes, I am not disappointed. This is Darth Vader's castle. Now, when I first heard of Darth Vader's castle, it was when it came out as a Lego set, and I swear Lego invented this just to sell stuff. Um, yet we do have Darth Vader's castle, and also one of these fighters here. Um, yeah, a cool thing, but I'm sure I've never seen one of these inside a Star Wars movie. So today's festive gift from LEGO Star Wars is Fortress Vader, otherwise known as Darth Vader's Castle. This is based on set number 75251, which is fairly tall, standing over 16 inches high. Hopefully Darth had the architects include some elevators. Vader's personal abode was a stronghold located on the volcanic world of Mustafar. The trans-orange cheese slope gives us some sense of the magma that flows around the castle. Despite the small scale of the build, it does capture the look and feel of the larger set. Also included with the gift is Vader's unfeasibly small TIE Advanced Fighter. This thing is made from just three elements. Literally a pair of binoculars and two 1x1 clips. But the impressive thing is that it just about works. Vader's fortress may not be festive and it didn't even appear until the 8th movie. But you've got to admit this is a pretty cool thing. Is it cool enough to win gift of the day? We'll find out right away. So with Christmas Eve only a day away, the calendars are eager to impress, and we have a magical menagerie of gifts to choose from as we seek to crown Advent Calendar of the Year 2020. From LEGO City we have a teeny tiny Santa sleigh complete with Rudolph who seems to have fully recovered. LEGO Harry Potter must have been using Parseltong and bestowed upon us a selection of gifts for each of the Hogwarts houses. Seriously guys, gifts on day 23? From LEGO Friends we got the usual Christmas tree which my daughter really likes for some reason. I'd better not give it a treasonous score. And from LEGO Star Wars, nothing says Christmas like the fortress of that most festive and charitable individual, Darth Vader. But which one of these Christmas Eve Eve gifts deserves a cool Yule enjoying a festive feast in the Great Hall? And which one deserves to spend Boxing Day in the U-Bend with Morogue's Moaning Myrtle being pelted with pygmy puffs by Peeves the Poltergeist? Let's award our penultimate points! In last place with one point and ensuring my daughter will never speak to me again, it's the Christmas tree from LEGO Friends. There were no bad gifts today, but this was too predictable when we were looking for a showstopper. In third, earning two points and a barrage of hexes from the Potterheads in the comments, is LEGO Harry Potter for the house-themed gifts. Coming in second and taking three points is Darth Vader's Fortress, which I'm positive was invented purely for merchandising reasons. 
And so today's winner, which was picked unanimously by the Herbert family, is the Santa sleigh complete with Rudolph. After some really ropey micro-scale builds this year, LEGO City nailed this one and kept to the festive brief. But do you agree with today's scores? Will I have to take out a restraining order against the Lorax for felling the festive tree so generously gifted by LEGO friends? Or will my decision to award 4 points to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer go down in history as the biggest injustice of Christmas? As always, be sure to let me know what you think in the comments, and also let me know which calendar is your favourite for the disaster movie that was 2020. Part of the fun of being a YouTuber is reading the comments to see what you got wrong. Several people pointed out that the Hermione minifigure did not appear in the Clock Tower set, but the Astronomy Tower set. Her dress for the Yule Ball may be similar to what she wore to the Slug Club Christmas party, but it's not the same thing. Zumba with Harper, Lloyd's Models, Dave1820 and Ethan Groves heard me saying Wednesday at the video instead of Tuesday. Usually I'm scripting, filming and editing three videos simultaneously. It really messes with your head. Killzol and Brax rightly noted that the LEGO City speedboat did not make the thumbnail. It must have sunk to the bottom of the thumbnail sea. But seriously, it was super late when I uploaded yesterday's video and the speedboat just wasn't working out. Sub Down is still waiting for the string from last year. You and me both sub down. And Fab Blondie's Bricks gave me bad joke of the year for the Stormtrooper joke. I am honoured to accept the award, thank you. I bet you can't guess who's getting the award for worst gift of the year. Alice rightly chastised me for comparing myself to a bad smell in the intro. It's getting more and more difficult to find new material. I can confirm, Alice, that the Imperial measurement line was indeed a deliberate pun. And finally, I've noticed a few people seem to think I'm a DJ and keep asking for shoutouts. For one time only, I will give a shoutout to anybody who asks for one in the comments of this video. You must comment by 7pm Eastern on the 23rd and you must spell shoutout correctly. So after awarding our penultimate points on the magical pre-Christmas day of Festivus, let's see which calendar will be airing grievances and will Darth Vader be reduced to Panic in Skywalker? In last place and getting washed down the creek without a paddle is LEGO Friends with 46 points. And apparently they just unfriended me on Facebook. In third with an unbeatable 6 point advantage over LEGO Friends is LEGO City with 52 points and a fine roster of minifigures this year. But looking up to the top of the table, we have a deadlock. Enjoying their coffee on the dark side is LEGO Star Wars with 66 points. And with one day remaining to win the second Wizarding War, LEGO Harry Potter is also sitting pretty with 66 points. With Calendar of the Year 2020 still undecided, Darth Vader just force joked one of his LEGO designers, finding their lack of quality gifts disturbing. I also hear that a case of Felix Felicis has been delivered to the LEGO Harry Potter team who are pulling an all-nighter. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, stay safe, and I'll see you bright and early on Christmas Eve!